you take a break from it for a little while and do some math with me. I know that you like math as well as you like music. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Well, what we're doing today is we're going to be making or filling in information in a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram? Mm -hmm. See these two circles? Mm -hmm. They overlap right mm. here? Yes. Yes, this is called a Venn diagram. Oh. And this circle on the left mm -hmm. it represents a set of something. This time we're talking about numbers, a set of numbers. And the purple circle will represent a set of numbers as well. Oh. We're going to fill numbers inside these circles in a certain way based on information that we know about the two circles. Oh, this sounds exciting! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the situation. Ty is making a Venn diagram like oh. this. And so we need to figure out where these numbers go. Now, what we know about this diagram is that in this left set, in this green circle, mm -hmm. the numbers with a five in the tens place go there. Okay. Okay. Now, in the purple circle, only the numbers with a two in the hundreds place go in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So two in the hundreds place go in the purple circle, and fives in the tens place go in the green. Right. And there are Got it. Yes, and there are some numbers that have both qualities. They have both a five in the tens place, and at the same time, they have a two in the hundreds place. I and see. And those numbers will go where the two circles overlap. So the overlap has both. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring in a table here, mm -hmm. and we're going to organize each of these numbers in this table so that the hundreds, mm -hmm. uh, the number that's in the hundreds place go in the first column of the table. Okay. The number that's in the tens place will go in the second column, and the number that's in the ones place will go in the third column. Okay? Okay. So, so let's start with the number 152. The number 152 has what number in the hundreds place? One. A one. And what is in the tens place? A five. Yes. And what is in the ones place? A two. A two. Well done. <laughs> so 152. 52. Let's do the same for each of these numbers. Can you tell me sure. where to put the I numbers think... of 215? I would love to. <laughs> okay. So there's a two in the hundreds place. Yes. A one in the tens place. Yes. Oh, and a five in the ones place. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is making me more happy. <laughs> okay, That's great. so there's a four in the hundreds place. Yes. A five in the tens place. Uh huh. And an, another four, but it's in the ones place. Yes, that. And that is four hundred fifty-four. Good job. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Now we have two hundred fifty-seven. Mm -hmm. So there's a two in the hundreds place. Yes. A in the tens place. Yes. And a seven in the ones place. Very good. I like it. I like it. I'm cooking. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I love math. <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> well done. Well Thank done. You. Okay. Yeah. How about I take over and I can quickly fill in the rest because oh, I think great. you have the idea. I think you understand this really well. So I'm awesome. I'm she's happy. awesome. I'm happy too. Okay, 352. We will write the numbers in each of these places just like this. Mm -hmm. 205. And look, two hundreds. This is zero tens mm -hmm. and five ones. Right. 250. Two hundreds, five tens, and zero ones. Yay! You're awesome! Thank you! It makes us all so happy! <laughs> I'm smart! Okay, now I want to go through our table and just notice the numbers that have a five in the tens place. Can oh, we okay. do that? Okay, so we're going to look in the tens column mm -hmm. here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Mm hmm. Okay, so, uh, so look at this number, 152. It mm -hmm. has uh, a number in the 
tens place, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Okay, so, and notice, isn't that where we put it in the yes. circle? Yes, That It has the number five in the tens place. Exactly right. Okay, uh, there are a few more, like 454. Right. Uh, see this? 257. 257. Do you want to find the others? Um, Go ahead. There's a 352. Yes. And nope. what else? 200. No. 250. Well yes. done. Yes. So these are the numbers where the there is a five in the tens place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we want to find all the numbers with a two in the hundreds place. So now we're just going to focus on the first column and we'll see which numbers have a two in the first, in the hundreds place. Here okay. we go. Okay. So first number. We already did that and it doesn't. It doesn't. How about this one? Two. Yes. Yes. Okay. So maybe I'll use it. has a, a two in the hundreds place. That's right. Okay. And then what oh, about? Oh, there's another one. Where, where, where? Um, 257. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's got the green and the purple. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be a special one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Um, oh, and then the 205 and the 250. That's right. Both have twos in the hundred space. Well done, mm -hmm. Jeannie. Well done. Math makes me happy. It's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place the rest of the numbers. We placed 152. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to place 215. Okay. Now remember what we said. 215 is a number with a two in the hundreds place. So where are we going to place this number? In this circle? No, no. The green one? The, no, the, it's in the purple. The set on the left? It's no. in the purple. In the set on the right because it yes. is a number with a two in the hundreds place. Now, can I place it in this part of the circle? Mm-hmm. But can I place it in this part of the circle? Mm -mm. In the no. overlap? No, because no. it doesn't have the fives in the tens place. Right, there is no five in the tens place in this number, so it can't live in this overlap. No, it Okay, can't. good, so we'll put it outside the overlap. And you can tell so easy by the chart that we made. That's true, that's true. Okay, let's keep looking at the numbers. 454, what do we know about 454 here? Um, It has... A four in the hundreds place, a five in the tens place, and a four in the ones place. Okay, right. So let's see. Um, in this circle should only be numbers with a five in the tens place. Mm-hmm. Is that, is that this number? Yes, it is. Yeah, this number. Now, uh, the question is, can we put the 454 here, or should we put it here? Uh, in no, the overlap. No, you have to put it in the green. In the green, but not in the overlap? No, because because it has a four in the hundred place, not, not a, a two. two. Well done. So good. It, it must live outside the overlap. Good job. Yes. Okay, 257. Oh, look at this one. Yeah. This one was special. It has, it has a purple star and a green circle. That's right. So what that means is it does have a two in the hundreds place, which means it could live in this circle. Yes. And it also does have a five in the tens place, which means it could live in this circle. So yes. does that mean it lives in the overlap? Yes, it lives in the overlap right Yay! there. Mm -hmm because it satisfies both conditions. Okay, the next number is 352. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a number that has a five in the tens place. Yeah. So that means it should go in the green yes, circle. Yes, it should. But could it go in the overlap? No, it has a three in the hundreds place, not a two. Jeannie, you are so smart. That is perfectly correct. How goody. Great. All right, so now let's look at 205. We know that 205 has a two in the hundreds place, mm -hmm. so we can put it inside the purple circle. Yes, we can. But can it live where the overlap is? No. No, why? Because there are zero tens. That's right. Not, and it needs to have five tens. Oh, wonderful. And finally, 250, it does have a two in the hundreds yes, place. Yes, but look. It also has a five, <gasps> so it goes in the overlap. That's exactly right, because, uh -huh. yes, 250, yes, it is a number with a, mm -hmm. uh, a two mm -hmm. in the hundreds place, and yes, it is a number with a five in the tens place. So since it could be in both circles, it can live in the overlap. Wow. Very good. <sighs>
Well done! Thank you! Oh, that was really fun! Oh, good! Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Well, awesome. I should really get back to practicing my music uh, now. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Back to the happy song. It's the happiest song you'll ever need to get along. Uh, hey, hey, Genia! Yeah. Uh, you, you know where happy mu music sounds even better? No, where? Um, outside. I'll stay here and play for you. Wow! Wow! 